It's Sunday, so that normally means pancakes in this house. Fluffy, fluffy pancakes. Pretty, pretty pancakes. Pretty and chocolate chip for you. Hey, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that pancake opener. That child is obsessed with pancakes. Um, you know, and it took me forever, but I finally bought a griddle a year or two ago. And what a life changing. Like, it was $20. But, you know, I'd always be able to make, like, her pancakes first, then Jeff's, then myself. And then by the time I sat down with my pancakes, everybody was done eating. Nobody wanted to eat with me. The griddle is easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, so I took last week, if you guys watched the vlog last week, to breathe. If you didn't watch it, please hit that subscribe button and you can go see my other videos. Um, I was laid off from my job of three years in the hospitality industry as a regional director of sales for a portfolio of different branded or independent hotels. Uh, so this week's a new normal for me. This is Monday. I'm hoping I can get this up tonight, if not tomorrow. And, you know, I took the week last week, because it happened Tuesday morning, to just breathe a little bit spend a little extra time with my family and come up with my game plan. I am always that girl that's had a game plan. I don't sit idly very, <laughs> very easily. So um, I just put everything in place so that I could just start doing my own thing. I want to grow my blog. Um, so if you guys have never seen it, it's in the links below. It's HaleyWithTheFlare.com. I cover travel and lifestyle blogging and my goal is to grow it. Um, I think I have some great things that I can offer you and I just haven't had the time to do all the things that I've wanted to do. So I'm working on that. And probably one of the biggest things that I'm excited about is that I've started working on classes through Skillshare. Like, you know, I've dabbled in Lightroom and Photoshop. I know how to do what I need. I have some presets. But I've always wanted to get better at it and actually know what I'm doing. For those of you that have never been in Photoshop, imagine a big, huge program that has a million and one different buttons for a million and one different things. Um, you know, I used to just go up and look on YouTube if I needed something specific. So um, I'm in the process. I'm about halfway through. It's an eight hour class. I, you know, do 30 to 45 minutes at a time. Then I get up and I go off and do something. So I'm hoping to have that done by Wednesday this week. Um, I did take a one hour social marketing class on Skillshare. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. This is not sponsored by them. I'm just kind of obsessed and a freak. Um, so yeah, so we're doing that. Sorry I have to hold you guys, but um, this tripod doesn't work very well for video, um, especially when I'm doing solo selfie style. I'm gonna be working on that as well, trying to mainstream my content and make it easier so I can have two hands to talk. Um, <laughs> so no, Skillshare has been great. There's just some things that I've wanted to learn how to do, some skills that I've wanted to kind of create my own business, um, which leads me to tell you guys that there's some exciting new things happening on the blog. Now, I know I've mentioned this before when I've done little things, but I'm doing a complete overhaul on design. I'm currently designing myself a new logo, which was inspired by my <laughs> severance letter. That story will come when I launch it. Um, yeah, so new logo, I'm looking to do a new blog layout, that color scheme goes with the new logo, and I have a fabulous line of new shirts and apparel that I'm working on. Don't worry, it's not going to say Haley with a flare across your chest, but, um, just some cute travel inspired apparel and household items. I'm really, really excited. I've been working in Photoshop on those a little bit as well as some new blogs. My goal is to try to get up to posting twice a week. Fingers crossed that that happens. But no, I'm really excited. It's It was weird waking up today and not having three hotels to do calls for and not prepping for them over the weekend. But I don't think I've fully cried either over this. I think I had already made my peace with it and probably should have... I don't know, maybe left beforehand, but I was more so in love with the ability to work from home that, you know, I was afraid to kind of step out and do that on my own. Well, here we go. <laughs> Wish come true. Now I'm just living my truth, 
living my best life, doing my thing, and I'm excited. You know, that's one thing I want to inspire Olivia to do that, you know, when life gives you lemons, make lemonade or spike lemonade. <laughs> I like spiked lemonade. It's one of my favorite drinks on a cruise ship is the frozen lemonade with uh, Kettle One vodka. But I don't know. I'm just not one of those lay in bed and feel sad kind of people. There's little things that have been triggering me. Like I was working on something in the kitchen and I screwed up and just kind of had that. I have that terrible little little monster on my shoulder that likes to give me useless kind of feelings um, or being able to do things right. Like it's still a little bit of a loss, like even though I've welcomed it with open arms, you know, it's just, there's still little things that creep up on you. Cause I can't help to think that if you're ever in this situation that, you know, you just kind of wonder why. I mean, I kind of know my why, but it wasn't work related. Then it is what it is, so. <sighs> next chapter. I'm really, really excited. So let me know what you guys are doing to kind of get through this coronavirus self-isolation self quarantine session. I love my family, but I'm definitely starting to, uh, I think get a little ornery because I just, I miss kind of having that alone time to myself and I'm not getting that right now because everybody's here, but it could be worse. At least we're all healthy and safe and we're trying to do our part and stay home so other people don't get sick make sure you do that so if you have any tips on how you're getting through this coronavirus self-isolation quarantine leave them down in the comments and also leave me a comment on what kind of content you'd like to see going forward do you like more travel content do you like lifestyle content um do you want some quarantine cooking videos you tell me what you're looking for and don't forget to share this with your followers and subscribe. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. Bye.